All right, so right now my colleague Alyssa Toomey is also following something big in St. Louis County. We're talking about the uh, county executive seat. Alyssa, good morning. Hey, good morning, Justin. Well, it's a good morning for Cori Bush and hey, it's a good morning for Sam Page as well. He won the Democratic primary with 38% of the votes. This November will be actually the first time that people can vote for Sam Page for county executive. So Page won a crowded Democratic primary beating Mark Monobani, Jake Zimmerman and Jamie Tolliver. In St. Louis County, voter turnout was about 38% compared to 42% in 2018. Page served on the St. Louis County Council for five years before he was selected to replace Steve Stanger. Stanger was indicted by a federal grand jury for a pay to play scheme. Page has, of course, led the county through the coronavirus pandemic, a move that has been met with both praise and criticism. He says the coronavirus has highlighted the further need for change. St. Louis cannot be healthy, cannot grow, cannot be safe until we address race, until there are enough good schools, good housing, good jobs, good health care, good transportation, good child care, and good retirements for everyone, regardless of what in what part of the county you live. Oh yes, the conversations must continue and the words must turn into action. So this November, Page will face Republican Paul Berry III. Page is favored to win as every single county executive for the past 30 years has been a Democrat in St. Louis County. Live here in St. Louis County this morning, Alyssa Toomey, News 4.